is becoming a software engineer the only option once you complete your computer science degree what are the other different options that you might explore once you are completing your computer science degree in this video we're going to talk about different career options that are available for you once you complete your graduation in cs let's start with the first option that is available to you that is software developer software developer is a general term that is used for anyone who is graduating out of university and most of the companies hire for a software development role what exactly you will have to do in this software development role is Majorly, you will be working upon maybe some internal tools of the company that helps improve efficiency or you might be working upon some product that exactly customers are using. So basically your work will be improving the workflows, your work will be improving and writing code, actually developing software. So most of the companies hire software development engineers from college or people after graduation are into this profile of SDE. You talk about most of the companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Google. So the initial level role that is offered to anyone is software development engineer now talking about what is the difference between a software engineer and software development engineer so sdes are people who are actually doing the development who are more focused on core development whereas software engineers are doing development but they have an overall engineering perspective as well so this is a very thin line of difference between swees and sdes for most of the companies both of these terms are interchangeable the second career option and the most common is web development so web development if we talk about it can be categorized further into front-end web developer or back-end web developer and there is somebody who is a full stack developer who is both a front-end as well as a back-end developer first let us talk about a front-end development engineer so what exactly a front-end development engineer does is let's take an example of amazon's website you go on to their web page and you are proceeding to order anything so all the buttons that you see on the web page all the ui the interface that you see on the web page is done by somebody who is working on front end so which are the major technologies that you use while working on front end it can be html css javascript or it can be some other technology like angular or react another part is backend developer so backend developers basically deals with the overall data that the company is handling let's take an example again so if you are placing an order on amazon data will be stored in some database along with what all recent purchases that you have made from amazon what is your current address so each and everything is maintained at the back end by some back end engineer who is dealing with those databases this was a very small example of what a back end engineer does because there are multiple things that back end engineers do which all technology stacks that they work upon it can be django it can be spring boot it can be node.js but different other tech stacks are there varying from company to company and person to person next comes is full stack developer so full stack developer is someone who is involved in both front end as well as back end let's say in a startup if you're working in a, any startup there, there's a very limited team so same person might be working upon front end same person might be working upon back and he will be called a full stack developer the third career path that we'll be talking about today is data science so data science and machine learning engineer is the third career path that you can go through what a machine learning engineer does or what a data scientist does let's take an example of amazon and netflix so on netflix you might have seen you get recommendations based upon your previous watched movies so that is basically how auto recommendation system works or that model is being trained by some machine learning engineer who is working at netflix similarly in amazon also let's say you are purchasing something so amazon suggests you that you can also go ahead by purchasing this along with this so how is all that done so that's the work of machine learning engineer not only this different other websites different other uh, companies use machine learning tools and frameworks to get different insights on how things can work machine learning can be done in python or r you should be aware of different machine learning models deep learning models you should have worked upon some of those projects you might be aware of neural networks so all these kind of technologies you should be aware of if you are getting into data science or you're working upon machine learning algorithms if you're talking about data science let me talk about the sponsor of this video that is Auden school Auden school has come up with the data science program that is a six months industry aligned curriculum that you'll be doing along with a 360 degree play placement assistance what you'll be learning in this program is python sql machine learning algorithms data visualization and everything that is required to become a good data scientist various features of the program includes live interactive classes with different mentors rigorous classes every week regular interaction with industry experts project-based learning interview preparation and placement assistance is what they are providing along with data science is a booming field with average base salaries of 6 lakhs to 20 lakhs per annum there are multiple success stories from audience school where person who was unemployed he is now working as a senior analyst at a big tech company you will be finding many people from non-tech background are moving into tech background through their program so if you're looking forward to start your data science journey click on the link in the description for Auden school you can give a scholarship test through which you can get multiple scholarships on their entire
entire course fees. So make sure you do register if you're looking forward to start your journey in data science. Next career path after data scientist is data engineer. So if I talk about data engineers, what is their role? So data engineer basically gets insights out of data. They have large amount of data, some term that we call as big data. So from that data, they get some insights on how things are working. Let us take a very common example of YouTube dashboard. On my YouTube dashboard, I'm able to see how many number of people have seen this particular video. What was the watch time of anyone who was watching this video? How many times this thumbnail has been clicked? I can categorize audience based upon geography, based upon uh, age, based upon gender. So each and everything is being categorized and I'm getting those insights from such a large amount of data. So this is what exactly a data engineer does. Different technologies, different, different skills is what a data engineer needs to know. He needs to be very well versed with databases, SQL, to know about data warehousing, different other technologies like Kafka, Scala, and a lot of these different things is what you will be working upon if you are a data engineer. And the salaries of data engineers are almost equivalent to software engineers or even more than software engineers. The next career path that we are going to talk about is DevOps engineer. DevOps engineer is a very, very common term that is used by companies. What is the role of a DevOps engineer? Basically maintaining the tech infrastructure of the company. How can they better optimize the workflows that are already present in the companies. There are DevOps engineer, you will be working around on Dockers, containers, Kubernetes. So all these technologies you will be working upon as a DevOps engineer. So this is also a great career path if you are into DevOps. So all for this particular video, I hope you people got some amazing insights on what career options are available to you after you pass on for your computer science degree. Let me know which career path are you looking forward to pursue ahead in your career. See you in some other video. Till then all the best. Good luck. Bye.